Law enforcement officers from eight local agencies are making an impact, providing Hurricane Milton relief in the Bradenton community. 45 officers left here last Thursday, right after Milton made landfall Wednesday night. As News 13's Maggie McGuigan tells us they've been clearing debris and taking over the duties of the local officers there. Dozens of Panhandle police officers are wrapping up their fifth day of deployment in areas impacted by Hurricane Milton. They say the greatest damage they've seen so far was on Anna Maria Island. The city, or the whole island, had been evacuated. Uh, there was a lot of damage. You could see basically every business, every residence is, have, has damage to it. Of, to some extent, some totally destroyed. Some uh, newer builds or stronger builds look like they fared ve you know, better in the weather and wind. The sand was a great issue. There is uh, sand piled as high as 10 feet high in the roadways and along the edge of the roads. Some of the officers are contributing by taking over local patrol services. Others are leading manual labor cleanup efforts. The biggest impact it had on them was there was a lot of cleanup being done from, from Hurricane uh, Helene and they were caught with a large amount of debris in the roadway. So people were taking their couches and chairs and refrigerators and all that and putting it out by the side of the road to be picked up. It didn't get picked up before Hurricane Milton. So all of that just is now everywhere, scattered across the island and is blocking the roads. Many of the Panama City officers helping with Hurricane Milton response were in Perry, Florida the week before, contributing to Hurricane Helene response. This current deployment is scheduled to last another week and a half, but Chief Smith says they're all willing and eager to stay as long as necessary. In Bay County, Maggie McWiggin, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Panama City officers are becoming experts on disaster relief efforts. The Florida Police Chiefs Association has asked Chief Smith to talk about assembling deployment teams and equipment at their January meeting.